Hi boys and girls, I wanted to read you a fun story today. It's called, Where Did the Rain Puddle Go? I think you'll really like this book. It has kind of a science vibe to it and it talks about evaporation. Um, evaporation is when you have water and the water, the heat from the sun heats up the water and it the water rises and tries to get back up into the clouds. That's evaporation. It happens everywhere. It happens over oceans and rivers and lakes. It'll happen to your cup of water. If you have a cup of water sitting out on a table somewhere, um, the water always wants to try to go back up into the clouds and that's evaporation. That's just what the process is called. So I have this story. It's a cute story. And then there's a little um, project at the end of it we can work on it together, okay? It's called, Where Did the Rain Puddle Go? And you know these guys. Who's that? Pooh and Tigger and Little Piglet, right? I know Mrs. Blake likes Piglet. Here we go. There's the pictures for you. Okay, it says, it was a beautiful sunny morning after a rainy night in the hundred acre wood. Piglet ran to the window. It's a sunny puddle day, he cried. Christopher Robin always said that the best sort of sunny days were the ones that had puddles everywhere. And Piglet definitely agreed. There he is over here. Piglet put on his boots and swung open the door. He breathed in the fresh damp air and looked at the puddles on the ground. They're just right for floating my boat and puddle stomping, called Pooh, splashing up to Piglet's door. Pooh and Piglet marched through the water, stomp, splash, stomp, splash, until they came to Pooh's thinking spot. These puddles look just right, said Pooh. There was a big one for Pooh, and right next to it, there was a perfectly little piglet-sized puddle. See those ones? Next picture. Piglet placed his boat in the puddle. My boat is sailing, he said. Watch this piglet, called Pooh. He ran, stomp, 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 and then jumped up and landed with a huge splash. Oh dear, said Piglet, trying to keep his boat from going topsy-turvy. Piglet looked up at the shiny bright sun. Oh, he began, this has turned out to be such a wonderful sunny puddle day. See them playing? Oh, the friends joined. Everybody's playing. Just then, Tigger and Roo came bouncing by. Hello there, Piglet and Pooh, said Tigger. I see you're having a splashing good time. Did you know that playing in puddles is what Tiggers do best? Now that Tigger and Roo are here, Piglet began, let's go ask Rabbit to stomp in the puddles with us too. And off they splashed to Rabbit's house. Here they are at Rabbit's house. That. When they got to Rabbit's house, he was busy mopping the floor. My sp house sprang a leak, Rab Rabbit said. There's water everywhere, and I've spent all morning cleaning it up. Why don't you come and stop and come and play in the puddles with us, said Pooh. Certainly not, said Rabbit. Oh, please come, pleaded Piglet. Yes, Rabbit, please, please, please come with us, begged Pooh. Rabbit knew that Pooh wouldn't stop asking until he agreed. Pooh, Piglet, Rabbit, and Roo soon found themselves back at Pooh's thinking spot. Did I miss a page? No. This puddle seemed much bigger before, said Pooh, scratching his head. I can't find my puddle at all, said Piglet, looking all around. Where did my rain puddle go? Oh dear me, cried Piglet suddenly. Look, Pooh, there's my boat, but the water's gone. Piglet was very confused. Where, oh, where did my rain puddle go? Maybe someone took it, said Pooh. Who would take a puddle, asked Rabbit. In any case, it doesn't matter. It's our job to find it. Piglet, Pooh, and Rabbit set out through the hundred acre wood to look for the lost puddle. As they walked, Pooh and Piglet sang a puddle finding song. When puddles are lost, they're very hard to find. Why do puddles go away, but leave sailboats behind? They are looking. They were careful to search in every hiding place they could think of, behind bushes, under rocks, in tree hollows. Nowhere did they see Piglet's puddle. Let's ask Owl, suggested Pooh. 
When they got to Owl's house, Eeyore was there. Well, puddles can't just disappear into thin air, said Owl after hearing what had happened. And now that you mention it, that seems like a lot of puddles are missing today. But where are they going? Easy, asked easy, Pooh. Easy, easy. Owl cleared his throat. The only way to find out where they are going is to find out who is taking them, he said. And the only way to find out who is taking them is to guard one of the remaining puddles. So we're going to guard the puddle. But they won't come to take it if we're standing there, will they? asked Pooh. So how will we find out who it is? The trick is, explained Al, to guard without looking like you're guarding. Eeyore agreed to stand guard while Piglet and Pooh continued to look for the lost puddle. No one will notice me anyway, Eeyore said gloomily. While they were searching, Piglet and Pooh saw Christopher Robin playing Pooh Sticks. Isn't this a fine sunny puddle day? exclaimed Christopher Robin. Well, yes, said Pooh, it was, until Piglet lost his puddle. We've looked everywhere, said Piglet. Can you help us find it? Christopher Robin laughed and gave Pooh and Piglet a hug. Follow me, he said. They returned to Pooh's thinking spot. Now Pooh's big puddle is gone, cried Piglet. Where could it be, asked Pooh. Look up there, said Christopher Robin, pointing to the flight white fluffy clouds in the blue sky it's in the clouds are you saying my puddle jumped up to float in the clouds asked piglet actually your puddle is floating up to become a part of the clouds explained explained christopher robin Pooh and piglet were really confused now i'll show you said christopher robin christopher robin led them to another puddle and pointed to the wavy mist right above the water. It was a bit difficult to see at first, but Pooh and Piglet looked very hard until they were sure they saw it. They thought it looked like a little cloud that comes up from Rabbit's teapot. That's right, said Christopher Robin. The mist is called evaporation. Slowly, slowly, water on the ground goes up in teeny tiny pieces to form clouds. But Christopher Robin, I thought rain came from the clouds. I didn't know it went up to the clouds, said Pooh, still a bit puzzled. Yes, Pooh, that's right, said Christopher Robin. Water floats up to form clouds. That's evaporation. Then when the clouds get too full of water, it rains again. It's like the water keeps going up and down, up and down, said Piglet. Yes, it is a bit like that, said Christopher Robin, pleased that they were beginning to understand. Let's watch some more evaporations. Pooh exclaimed, walking toward one of the last remaining puddles. The friends stepped in the puddle and made footprints, and watched and waited as the puddle disappeared little by little. Goodbye, little water vapor particles, said Christopher Robin. Goodbye, evaporations, said Pooh. See you when it rains, said Piglet. Have fun in the clouds. Suddenly, Piglet stopped. What's wrong? asked Christopher Robin. Will all the water in the hundred acre wood evaporate? asked Piglet. Even the pond? No, Piglet, Christopher Robin reassured him. There is too much water in the pond to evaporate, at least not for a very, very long time. Besides, once water evaporates into the clouds, the clouds put it all back when it rains. And then we get to have another sunny puddle day, cried Pooh. That's right, said Christopher Robin. Hurry, called Piglet, let's splash some more before all the muddy path evaporates. And off they went, splashing through the hundred acre wood. That's the end of our story, my friends. I have a task for you. The next time it rains and you see puddles, I want you to see if you can see the wavy water particles going back up into the clouds and evaporating into the clouds. You can also stomp in the puddles and make wet footprints all around. And see, you can actually watch them. If you walk in a sunny spot, you can actually watch the water dry up and evaporate from, um, from your footsteps. I have another trick for you. You can take a paintbrush and a cup of water and you can paint the sidewalk. And if you paint it in a sunny spot, I think it might 
it just might evaporate faster than if you paint it in a shady spot. So maybe if you have a sunny spot and a shady spot near each other, you can paint a stripe of water in a sunny spot and paint a stripe of water in the shady spot and see which one evaporates first. I think it might be the sunny spot because that's where the sun is gonna be the hottest. And it'll dry that up and those water particles will go back up into the clouds. I think that'll be a pretty fun experiment. You guys ought to try it and let me know how it works for you, okay? Post a video, post a picture, and tell me all about your little science experiment with evaporation. All right, guys, I'll see you the next time. Bye.